Do you enjoy RV camping or are you thinking of moving to the Columbia, South Carolina area and want to stay in an RV while you look for your new home? I have a client who was planning to move to Columbia to buy a house and stayed in an RV park instead of a hotel while he waited to move into his new home. He ended up staying in an RV park that was a long driving distance from the city. And that's why I decided to make this video to give you some insights about RV parks and state and national parks here in the Columbia area. The Greater Columbia area offers many RV parks and state parks with RV camping to choose from and many of them are just minutes from Columbia. One of them is even located right inside of Columbia. My client also wanted to know about state parks and national parks that were nearby that have RV campsites. So in this video first I'll give you the scoop on the nearby state and national parks and after that I'll tell you about a few of the local RV parks. So let's dive into it right now. On the state and national parks we're going to talk first about the sesquicentennial state park columbia has a beautiful state park right inside city limits sesquicentennial state park is located in northeast columbia and is affectionately called sesqui by locals sesqui is a spacious green getaway in the heart of the sand hills region according to southcarolinaparks.com once you are immersed in the 1400 acres of pines camping sites and nature trails you forget just how close you are to bustling down downtown Colombia. In fact, there is just a 26 minute drive from Sesqui to downtown and many shops and businesses in Northeast Colombia are just minutes away. Sesqui also provides 78 campsites, 69 of those sites are for tent camping and have electricity and water. And 9 of those sites are full hookup RV sites with electricity, water and sewer. And there is also a dump station available. Besides this, Sesqui also has a primitive camping area that is ideal for organized groups of up to 50 people. The second one is Dreher Island State Park. Dreher Island State Park has highly rated online reviews and is one of the most popular places to go camping in the Columbia area. This state park spans three islands in the middle of Lake Murray, totaling 348 acres and access to 12 miles of Lake Murray shoreline. Campers will have plenty of things to do like swimming, fishing, and boating, and the park also offers three boat ramps, three places grounds, picnic shelters, hiking trails, bird watching, and geocaching. For lodging, campers can choose to stay in a lakeside villa with up to three bedrooms or in a camper cabin. Primitive camping sites come with water and electrical hookups and a picnic table. This park also offers 97 paved sites that may be used for both RV and tent camping, while 15 sites are for tent campers only. All campsites are convenient to hot showers and restrooms. Keep in mind that camp sites at Dreher Island fill up quickly and well in advance, so it's best to plan and reserve a campsite months ahead of your stay. My third one is the Congaree National Park. Colombia is also home to the Congaree National Park, which spans almost 42 square miles southeast of Colombia. This beautiful park is considered the largest intact expanse of old growth bottomland hardwood forest remaining in the southeastern United States. This expansive forest offers many walking and hiking trails where you can see a unique variety of plant life and wildlife. Tent camping is allowed at the park and campsites must be reserved. However, camping sites can only be reserved for up to 14 consecutive days and there is no RV camping available. So even if you don't camp at the Congaree Forest, it is still definitely worth a visit if you are in the area. Now let's talk about nearby RV parks. There are many great RV parks that are conveniently located in the greater Columbia area. I'll mention a few highly rated RV parks that are the closest in proximity to Columbia and are all near shopping, dining, and other conveniences. The first one is Big Rig Friendly RV Park. Big Rig Friendly RV Park has a five-star overall rating on campgrounds.com. This RV park is located about 10 miles and 20 minutes west of downtown Columbia in the suburb of West Columbia. This campground has 153 RV sites that are up to 100 feet with up to 50 amps of electricity. Most sites can accommodate large units and are pull-through sites. Amenities include a clubhouse and playground with a 
pool on the way. The second one is Barnyard RV Park. Barnyard RV Park has a 4.3 star rating on Google. It's located about 20 minutes west of downtown Columbia in the community of Oak Grove, just east of Lexington. Barnyard offers 129 RV sites with water, sewer, and up to 50 amps of electricity. There are several amenities here, including pull-through sites, free cable, LP gas, Wi-Fi, a dump station, laundry facilities, a playground, a meeting room, and even a dog park for our furry friends. The third one is Wood Smoke Family Campground. Wood Smoke Family Campground has a solid four-star rating on Google and on campgrounds.com. This park is conveniently located off of Interstate 26 in Irmo, a town that is just 19 minutes northwest of Columbia. Wood Smoke offers 35 RV sites with electricity and water hookups and up to 50 amps of electricity. Amenities include pull-through RV sites, sewer hookups, a sewer dump station, bathhouse, playground, free Wi-Fi, a laundry facility, a pond for fishing, and also pets are allowed. To learn about more RV parks that are in the greater Columbia area, check out this video. I hope this helps you know more about some great campgrounds to stay out in the Columbia area. If you've camped in this area, what is your favorite campground or RV park here? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I'll see you next week.